All right, what's happening, traders? Welcome back. Let's get into today's video recap on the markets. Uh, what you see here on the screen is a chart of the S&P 500. For you Forex guys, your symbol is XPX 500. For you futures, it's ES. And of course, you stock traders, uh, it's SPY. And this green and red color band you see here overlaid on the chart is the volume indicator that uh, does an excellent job of forecasting market direction, all right? And look, the story of the last two sessions, um, here is Monday and here is today. This uh, white line right in the middle of the screen here is the session break line segmenting out yesterday and today, all right? And quite obviously, the story of the last two sessions was the huge overnight plunge. And you know, uh, for, for you stock traders out there, you really got to pay attention to what I'm going to say right now, okay? When you trade stocks, the problem that you're always going to have is exiting a profitable trade at midnight, right? You just can't do that in the stock market. Why? Because <laughs> the stock market's closed. But in Forex and in futures, the market never closes, Okay, so case in point here, uh, yesterday's session, you know, we you can see here, well, actually, to start the session, we turned green, all right, um, and then we had a nice sell signal here that showed up eh, probably around 12 p.m. yesterday, okay? Now, the thing about trends, okay, is you never know how long a powerful trend is going to stay, okay? Sometimes you'll be able to catch the majority of that trend during the regular session, but many times, and you Forex and futures traders know exactly what I'm talking about, many times the trend will just continue into the overnight session, and that's what we saw happen between yesterday and today. This short setup here was so strong and so powerful. In fact, let's just go ahead and quantify this. Uh, what are we at? About 4385-ish on the short, and we saw a session low of 4315, okay? Now, just think about that. That's about 70 handles on the S&P, just about 700 pips for you Forex traders and about three to 400 ticks if you're following along in futures. Now that's a move you would have never been able to capture if you were trading SPY, okay? And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with trading SPY, all right? Uh, SPY options are, are pretty awesome. All I'm saying to you is in the E-mini futures and the Forex markets, your ability to close out a winning trade, which, which typically is going to be on a very powerful trend, okay? That's the whole idea here, guys. We're trying to nail nice, long, smooth, clean trends in the market. And what we also want to do is milk every single dollar that we can. Look, it's not enough to get the direction right, all right? You also need to know and you also need to time the market and when to get out, right and 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 if those moves happen at midnight if 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 the trend you know stays valid from one session into the next session it's your job it's your duty to take whatever the market wants to give you make sense so i don't know about you guys but i'm seeing a lot of really powerful moves that take place in the overnight session and for those of you guys that are exclusively focusing only on stocks all right you're doing yourself a huge just a huge disservice because the S&P 500 does actually trade 24 hours a day on the Forex markets and the futures markets. Makes sense? And look, guys, it was the same story on the E-mini Russell. All right, you guys know this is uh, probably in my top three or top four favorite uh, E-mini future symbols. The Russell can sometimes completely blow away the S&P 500. All right. So I really encourage you guys to keep the Russell, the E-mini future Russell version or the Forex version um, on your watch list, on your screen. Just have it open. You might not want to actively trade it if you don't want to. All right. You might be having plenty of success on the S&P 500. Good for you. But I always believe in diversification. Okay. Specifically symbol diversification. And as you can see right here, folks, look at this. The volume indicator turned green 
all right, after the market just plunged in the overnight session, boom, right here, right? Volume turns green, and this just rips for another 300 ticks. In fact, if you were lucky enough to catch the overnight move here, and I don't know how many of you guys did or did not, but just, you know, be mindful that there are some significant moves that happen after the regular stock market closes. Don't box yourself into thinking that the market's only open for seven and a half hours a day. That's not true, all right? There's plenty of amazing opportunities at 7 p.m., 8 p.m., 9 p.m., and there's also some great opportunities uh, in the morning time, 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m. Um, so look, here's the takeaway from watching this video, all right? So number one, if you trade stocks, you have got to keep an open mind on forex and futures any forex trader will tell you any futures trader will tell you that both of these markets simply blow away the stock market the stock market can't even compete with forex and futures i mean there's a million reasons why those uh, these two markets are so much more advantageous than the stock market okay but also for you uh, forex traders you know a lot of you guys are stuck on the major currency pairs and you know euro usd jpy Think about the Forex indices. Folks, look, if you trade currency pairs and you want to see the Forex indices, get in touch, call me, text me, email me. I would love to show you uh, the S&P benchmark, the US 30, the NAS 100, which tracks the NASDAQ. Uh, I believe they have a Russell version. I'll have to double check on, on this for you. But I'm telling you, when you find a market that trends as nicely and as continuously, meaning, you know, round the clock, 24 hours a day, okay, and you slap on your volume indicator here, this green and red color band, then look, folks, I'm telling you, the sky's the limit, all right? Uh, you could trade round the clock. You could limit yourself to just a couple hours a day. It's completely up to you. That's the beauty about these 24-hour markets, okay? You can literally log in at any time of the day, Open up your charts, slap on your volume indicator here, and just start looking for high probability and low risk setups. Guys, that'll do it for this video. If you'd like to get your hands on this powerful volume indicator, then get in touch, call, text, email, whatever's convenient, and I'd be happy to hook you up with a free one-on-one -on -one demo really show you how this volume indicator is going to supercharge your trading guys thanks for watching this video and i'll see you on the next trade